Welcome to Lanyap, a program about events, issues, and people. I'm Corey Crow. I'm joined today by Jude Kessler, who's uh, got a series of books about the life of John Lennon. Jude, thanks for being with us today on Lanyap. Corey, thank you for having me here. Just love any excuse to come back to Monroe. I think you and I talked about the fact before the show that I've lived in about 40 different cities, and it just so happens that Monroe is my favorite. Well, Monroe's my favorite, too, and uh, it's good to have you here today. Tell me, you, you've written a, a series of books about the life of John Lennon, and um, it, not just two or three books it's it's probably going to be like a nine or ten book series by the time you get done um what got you into john lennon why why a series about john lennon well of course you know i was a fan back in the day but i knew when i went to college i um went through high school in three years and went to college early at 16 and i in three years, got two degrees. I was a really serious student because I wanted to write a book that would tell the life of someone, but would tell it as a novel so that you could read it and really get into it and feel like you were there. And I thought, well, who is it that I really know that I could write that kind of book about? And I thought, oh, well, I've been a Beatles fan since 1963, before they even were on the Ed Sullivan show. I know everything there is to know about John Lennon, but I knew nothing. And I started doing research and ends up, I've been working on the book series for the last 38, getting ready to be 39 years. And I'll tell you why. Not because John's a great singer and composer, not because he's an artist, he's an award-winning artist, not because he was a champion for peace, and not because he won the Foyles Literary Award for the best book in the English language, but because his life was nothing but tragedy, one tragedy after another, and he never let it defeat him. He found a way to turn tragedy into beautiful music, and that's a lesson for all of us, right? It is a lesson for all of us. Talk to me a little bit about um, the research you've done. You've put 38 years into this. You told me you've been back and forth to Liverpool lots of times. Uh, and, folks, um, let me just I, – I can't do it justice on the radio, but there's one of the books. This is not just some little uh, fly-by-night book. You've got – I mean, this is 800 pages – and this is just one of the series, a book number six, about to come out. Tell me, tell me about your the. Take me up one through six real quick, and and get me to to where we are and uh, where you're heading in this uh, book series. Okay, so one was supposed to be the book. I was going to write the book, but I got to I got John to age twenty one, and I had about. 850 pages and was like okay this isn't going to work so I'm gonna, maybe I can do it in three books so then the next book was 61 to 63 where they're ragingly popular in England but no one's heard of them in America right. and there was another 100, 100, 750 books so I said okay well let me see how much I can get in the next one well the next one was 1963 and a little bit of 1964 and it was 850 pages so I'm like okay I give up this is going to be like 9 or 10 books and um it takes you almost day by day through John's life and hence the lives of the Beatles. And I mean, the one that's coming out in March is going to start when they land in America um, to do the 1965 North American tour, which is Shea Stadium, which is them getting to meet Elvis, which is the most dangerous concerts they ever played. And I'll just tell you, in Houston, the fans swarmed the fan the um, runway as the plane rolled down the runway right. with jet propellers turning, and then they jumped on the wings of the plane, smoking cigarettes. When they finally got it stopped, it was all of this was vastly dangerous. So it's that book. It's the book where they write Rubber Soul. It is the book where they take their very last tour ever of England and. They're changing. You and I talked about the fact that by 1966, they are remaking the map of the Beatles. They're not going to tour anymore after Candlestick. Right. They're going to be studio musicians, and they're going to look different, and they're going to act different. So we're in that pivotal point right now where they're going to change, and they're going to change the world. 
tell me a little bit about uh, your book uh, you told me has made it to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, tell me how that happened. Well, um, about a year and a half ago, um, they went to my agent, Nicole Michael, at 910 uh, Public Relations and, you know, said they would be interested in putting the books in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I was just delighted because at that point, we had uh, we we're working on book five. And so what, a, you know, what an honor to be included. I was really thrilled. Tell me something that uh, in your 38 years. What's something that would fascinate us, something we don't know about John Lennon? He was asked by Kenneth Alsup in 1965 if he would rather be a writer, which he was, very successful writer, or a Beatle. And without batting an eye, he said, oh, a writer. I've been doing that since long before there were Beatles, and I'll be doing it long after. Absolutely, writing comes first. What is the... Um family think about all of this have you have you talked to any of the family oh, yeah. about the about the book series and what are their thoughts well his sister julia and i are good friends and um she has all the books and you know i, I think that they are very happy when someone tells the story the right way no embellishments research footnotes stick to the truth footnotes um just looking at this book there's thousands of footnotes in uh just one of the volumes of the book um where does all this research come from um that's what i do and i could not do this if it were not for my husband who does everything else you know you have to go to the grocery store you have to mow the yard you have to and he makes all this possible Jude Kessler with us, uh, the new book called Some Forever coming out in March. Uh, Jude, for folks to find out more about your books, find out about the series and what's coming up in, uh, in the series, how do they learn more about you? JohnLennonSeries.com JohnLennonSeries.com Jude Kessler, our guest today on Lanny Up, and find out more about uh, the Beatles and John Lennon. You can find out more about events and other issues uh, coming up in our area by heading to our website, KEDM.org. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our podcast and videos.